Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do the mirror work on a t-shirt and you can do it on any other things and I am going to put confetti instead of mirror. The mirror makes it very heavy and the t-shirt gets like hanging because of the weight from the mirror so I'm going to use this confetti they look like mirror but they're very thin and no weight so I'm just going to use one confetti here and you can buy confetti from any craft store so we're going to use and the question was where to buy the frame now previously I did buy the frame and I bought it in one of this craft store and you can check out any of them um, just to name a few you can check out Joanne, Michael or AC Moore if you live in the US so uh, and they are like they come like I think five or six in a package and cost about two ninety nine and three dollars so I was thinking why pay three dollars for six frame when you can just make your own so here is how you're going to make your own. You take yarn. You can do it with thread too, but uh, thread is a little bit difficult. So you just wind the yarn quite a few times, but don't make it too thick. And then you have your, this hook, this hook says size E. This is size E. I got this one from one of those stores, Joanne Michael. This wasn't too much. This was like $1.99 but i actually i could have gotten this at the thrift store you know they have a whole bunch of it so yeah i didn't think about it that time so yeah so here you just make yourself a nice circle so this is easy i have three of this chain and then three chain you make it just one hoop loop whatever you call it uh, and this is pretty easy. Just reduce it to one. Again, go reduce it to one. Okay. So, yeah. Like this. Don't make it too loose, don't make it too tight. Like this. So we're just gonna give one time. But if you can find mirror and frame, it's okay, but if you cannot find it, use confetti confetti comes a whole bunch in a package like 99 cents they look just like mirror they are not heavy as heavy as mirror they're very thin and light and you can even use glue to glue them because they will hold on you know but the mirror is not going to hold on mirrors need some very thick frame and then not only just the frame you need to work on the frame make it just like this outside of the frame so that's how you're going to stitch you cannot stitch the plastic directly on your clothes you have to cover up the frame so i just made the frame with the yarn i don't need to pay for a plastic frame and then the mirrors come like a package i think like Sometimes I see 10, sometimes 12, sometimes 4, 5, and they're also, nothing is less than $3, you know, $2.99, everything pretty much. So, 
why pay that much when you can have a whole bunch of confetti for 99 cents and when you can have uh, this yarn paid at Walmart I think it was $1.99 or $2.49 something like this a lot and then sometimes I get a whole bunch of yarn from the um, thrift store so yeah unused yarn so much people buy a lot then they don't do anything with it so yeah now we're done it's so easy so like that you make yourself as many as you wish but I already made quite a few and I stitched them so I'm going to put these away and show you what to do next my confetti um, I need five of this I'm going to use this one two three four five I was looking for beads at the thrift store you know, I, I, I did find a whole big box of beads but th that's not something I was looking for I wasn't looking for like you know big big beads because I don't want them I want like this kind of beads like you can put it in the clothes let me see but yeah if you go every day maybe Brian but can't go every day so yeah once in a while I go and we really have a lot of good deals like these things I used to buy them paying a lot Joanne Michaels, I see more, but not anymore because you know why you have to pay, pay so much when you can buy the you know new stuff on those stores. So two, and then you come in with the three, uh, add five with these, and then stick this one to the. I'm thinking about doing a little bit design. So I was thinking about making, wait a minute, let me do it two more, yeah, making another one of these, but then I want to do a music cover too, so, yeah. Well, let me tell you a music story. Back home, uh, if you lived in a village, the village has this rule. It's not like set. It's not set by the village uh, top leaders or anything like that. It's just the you know. It's just a normal ritual, you could call it. Now, villages early morning the family people will wake up and the grown-ups will do their job whatever they need to do clean mostly everybody does a lot of physical work you know sweep clean take care of the animals and feed them and the young kids they go and freshen up wash up and then they are doing some water or maybe a little tea cup of tea this tea is not like a ton of milk and sugar and all that thing this is just a plain tea, you know, just a little bit tea leaf, little bit of one teaspoon of sugar, little bit of powdered milk or regular milk if they had it. Well, they had cows, so they definitely had milk. And then they, they would drink a little bit of quick tea, warm tea. And then uh, everybody will sit down, let the children, not the grown-ups, children, so grown-ups do their work. Children will sit down on the patio with their musical instrument. Uh, most of the time, called the mist instruments called setar and guitar. Setar is a long thing, sort of like a guitar, but it, it also has the string and gives very soft, calming music. 
So as I was saying, they would play this music. It's called Riyaj. Riyaj is practicing and opening up your voice, vocal cord, training it. And they will sing. Sometimes they have their guru, their teachers called guru. Guru will come and then you practice with him and for it will go on from say eight o'clock they start uh, or seven o'clock they start so eight nine and this usually on weekends weekdays the children have to go to school right so they will do that and then evening this was like a regular thing this is not a weekend thing for evening so evening after they come back from school they will uh, run around play with their friends a little bit uh, in the neighborhood and just you know chasing things or playing with uh, marbles and girls will just walk around and chit chat and things like that play running around the fields and chasing uh, baby goat chickens or whatever and then they come home and wash up wash their feet and everything and then when they do that then they will do a little prayer and then the village temple has the evening prayer ceremony so temple the bell will ring and then the priest will pray and all that and they had this uh, thing called um, evening um, it's, it's they will give a uh, light candle light uh, to the god so uh, is called Sunday Dawaman's evening uh, prayer to the God and they will show the light and they'll have a lot of bells ringing and the noise of um, kind of kirtan and all the things so after all this done with a bit few minutes and everybody will go pray little children big people everybody will become quiet and pray and after this and they will sit down and they would practice their music. So music practicing time was around 5 to 6 or 6 to 7, something like that. And then 7 o'clock they will do their homework and 8, 8.30 they eat and then they do their homework till they finish up around 9, 10 and then they go to just drink some milk, the water and go to bed. But what I was saying that this music practice ritual was every day they are evening. And every woman, girl in the house, they practice music. There was no ritual to watch TV. There wasn't any TV in the villages. So it was beautiful because not only people were happy, their health were very good and their immune system was good. Music is very beneficial for you. Music calms you down, music it makes your immune system high, music um, get rid of depression, sadness, music is really amazing and music is connecting with the higher divine with God. When you sing or you pray, you see you get very connected. So yeah, music is very healing. I find music very healing. So we're done with this. And as I was thinking about doing the dis little bit design, but yeah, so I need to yeah, I need to make a cover, so I'm going to practice for that. And and then so this was the putting the mirror. So I made the frame, I put the mirror, and we're done and when I finish this I'll give you a picture I want to just do a little bit of work over here and then I'll give you a picture so for that one I need to prepare a little bit okay so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you with many many more Hi, thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.